Hello. My name is Annabelle Isaac. I'm an artificial intelligence that will be assisting my boss in this series of tutorials about SharePoint. Christopher Moshier from My Media Helper is my boss and he'll demonstrate the steps you need to proceed with your internet or internet websites. I'm here to help fill in the gaps with answers to questions you may have. In this second lesson video we are going to cover the elements of SharePoint design. I'm here to get you started and then the boss will further demonstrate the process when building his comic book themed site. Let's look at the different elements of a SharePoint design. I hope by now you have a Microsoft solution in order to access SharePoint. If you don't then I would suggest seeing our first video where we go step by step in how to go about getting that set up. If you haven't already, pull up your SharePoint solution and let's go over the different design elements of what you can do with each page. We'll be working on a communication page, but the same tools are available in both a communications page as well as a group page. Here is the front page of Making Comics Studios. To start we are going to click on the edit button as outlined in red at the upper right hand corner. I will be highlighting important elements in red so you can follow along easier. Just keep your eye out for red. And again, once we're done here the boss is going to go over this again and show you in real time. Once you hit the edit link, you'll see it change to republish. That means you did the right thing and you followed along beautifully. The boss would be so proud of you. On the left hand side you are going to see a series of plus icons. I have highlighted one in red for you so you can see where that is located. Let's click on the first one and see what we have. You are now looking at the section layout. Your SharePoint pages are going to be broken into different sections. You can make the determination on how to do that once you're more comfortable using the page builder. For this example, let's click on the two columns choice highlighted in red. You can now see a new two column section has been created. Take a look at the top of the section we just created. You're going to see a plus at the top for the two columns available. Let's click on one of the pluses to see what's available. What we have are you the different elements we can add to a page. In this example, let us start with the text element or what Microsoft calls web parts for their SharePoint application. A new box will appear allowing you the ability to type or cut and paste your information inside. The menu at the top gives you a variety of formatting you can incorporate for your text. You can also click on Edit section that is outlined in red. Click on that once and then click inside the text box. This will offer the choices of changing the font color or outlining the text as so. Another cool feature is that you can create tables in the text web part. Notice when you click in the table that was just created there are more choices to the right of the screen. You can make the table more dynamic for easier legibility, or if you right-click on your mouse while in the table itself can add and expand your table with different fields or delete the fields you don't need. You can also resize the different table fields and align the table to a desired position. There are a lot of features in this one web part alone, and we're just getting started. Let's add another web part in this section. You can add as many web parts as you so desire in one section. This time we'll add an image. As you can see you have several choices to where this image can be brought in from. Microsoft has a fantastic variety of images available for you. You can do a search on the web. Just be careful that the images you choose are for public use. If you have an existing OneDrive with images there you'll be able to access them. You can grab an image already uploaded to this particular SharePoint site or go ahead and upload a new image for the site. In this case, we already having the Making Comics Studios logo in the site's recent uploads so we're just going to grab that for this example. From there you can add a caption and or resize the image. Before we continue with web parts let's look at the right side panel of this web page section. Let's click on the icon outlined in red. Here we can use the preformatted color layout to change the background color of this section. We can also change the two column layout to a one column or a three column or what is available. Play around with the different options to get used how fun it is to try out different looks. You can also move your section up and down the page if you're not satisfied to where it's currently located. 
The next icon outlined in red when clicked makes a duplicate copy of your existing section for easier design instead of having to rebuild a similar section. And then finally you have the garbage pail to delete that current section if you don't happen to be happy with it. SharePoint has a super easy interface to allow from the novice to the expert make extremely quick design changes. At this point we're going to save this as a draft as we're not even close in being ready for making our site live and available for viewing. Here we can scroll down the page to determine if we're happy with what we've done so far and to decide what will be next to add. There are many more web parts to go over. I wanted to walk you through adding text and images to get you started. The boss will be going over additional web parts as he starts this video's instructions. He just wanted me to jump on first and set the stage for all of you fine folks. My work is now done for this video. The boss will be taking over showing you how he'll go about designing this particular SharePoint site. Please follow along with him and we'll make beautiful websites together. Now I introduce to you the top stud muffin. The haughty extreme. The prime prince of perfection. Sorry. He makes me say this shit. I give you my boss, Christopher Moshier. Hey, gals and guys, it's Christopher Moshier from MyMediaHelper.com, and this is lesson 222 of SharePoint, and this time I'm going mostly over um, web elements in this particular video. So basically building the page with the um, different plugins, widgets, what elements, whatever you want to call them. Um, each content system has their own name. So I also want to give a big thank you. Um, I picked up 11 subscribers this week, which is very exciting for me. So um, my first SharePoint video got a lot of hits, which is always good. I'm not surprised or not surprised or am surprised. I'm neither surprised or not surprised. <laughs> I don't have any expectations when I put these up. I just uh, appreciate anyone that uh, happened to um, like the page and uh, subscribe to the page, actually. So that helped the channel a lot and help it grow. And of course, um, that's part of the point, right? So um Here's the old Making Comics site. If you haven't already, just pull up your uh, SharePoint uh, client. This is your um, your Microsoft client actually here. So you can either, if you don't remember from the last video, you can just do it from here. Just go into here and just find SharePoint. And there it is. There are those lovers. And you should come up with this page here. Let me move my head over here. So on these things real quick, you can do a couple things, um, especially if you have a lot of pages. I'll do this at work because um, I deal with multiple departments and multiple pages. So I'll just put um, the most important ones up at top. So I'm just going to put Making Comic Studios up there just, just to have it there. So when I go in, um, and then we'll open up that particular page. You can do it right here. You have all your uh, different pages and happenings going on up there. And there's that. And I just go do some um, some house cleaning. Oop, let me get back to that. Actually, I'm gonna right click and open a new tab, so I have them both open at the same time. All right, there's this uh, featured links I want to show you. So, um, if you're not aware, I use Photopea quite a bit, and so I'm gonna grab this and I'm going to go here and I'm going to add, and I'm just gonna put Photopea. Um, you can hide it in your mobile app if you want. I don't usually use the mobile app too much. So, uh, so done. So if I want to go to that, it's right there. I can keep all my tools there. And I'll put uh, one more. I'll do one more. I'll add. And I'll do Canva. And I'll just put in... Uh, You can obviously just write in the address. This is me just being anal. So, Canvay, I'm going to save that, and then I'll be done. So, yeah. So, if I come on this page, I want to get my tools. Um, they're right here. Uh, of course, you can bookmark them in your in your browser. I'm sure you know that, or um, put a shortcut on your desktop. All right. So, I just wanted to show you that. I want to do some other cleanup work uh, before we get started. So we're going to go into site contents. And again, I'm just going to right click and open a new tab. Sometimes it opens in a new tab. I go, okay, not in this case. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go into my assets. 
Um, I'll go back here. Documents, site pages. Uh, man, the right one here. I don't think I'm in the right one. I'm going to go and say contents. Yeah, I wasn't in the right one. That's why. All right. Obviously, you know, in the right one, if it's the page name. So I just want to go into site assets and then um, there's some stuff I don't necessarily want uh, as far as images. And I believe it's this one right here. So if you have a, like a bunch of images uh, in your folder, you can just go to go to tiles and then you can take a look at them. I don't need this Superman comic there, so I'm just going to delete that. So you just highlight it and then just hit delete. And it's out of there. So I try to keep everything neat and tidy so I don't have things that I don't necessarily want. Um, I try to make them uniform and um, so things aren't all over the place. That's basically what I'm trying to explain. And then site assets, site pages. Okay, everything else looks good. These are my uh, logos. So again, if you go over here and just do tiles, you can see what... Um, what your images are, you can like thumbnail up. Okay, I just wanted to take care of a little house cleaning there. So let's go back to, let's get rid of some of this shit. And we'll go back to the home page. All right, here we are. And we'll get rid of some of this stuff too. So let's edit. This is what Abigail was going over in her short little six, seven minute uh, tutorial before I jumped in. And I'm just going to kill that. And then you can come here at the garbage pile. Just kill that. And this was already here. I'm not going to need any of this stuff. Uh, I'm going to go over this stuff with you. So I'm just going to get it out of here. So you just hit garbage. 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 Now, down here, um, you can choose if you want your comments on or off, if you want someone um, to comment on your particular page. I don't want that. Um, so this is all cleaned up for me here. So it's kind of like starting from scratch. Okay, I'm going to pull a lot from um, my original Making Comic Studios. I'm going to leave you with some homework as far as I'm going to go through the elements of SharePoint, um, the different... Um, Again, plugins, web parts, whatever you want to call them. And um, we'll kind of get uh, some pages going here. And speaking of pages, we're going we're gonna to make some pages. If you remember before, let me see here. Let's go here. Let's go Mosier, Uncle Doug. Doug, comic, Doug. Uh, da, 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 da. Doc. There we go. Oh, still didn't pop up. Where the hell is that? Christopher? All right, so here's the uh, some of the comics that I've written. I'm going to put all my um, writings on this page. I just want to make different pages and show you um, how we go about doing that. If you remember, we did this in our first video and we did gems. So there's a page for gems. And then we can make other pages. So here's a page for gems. And I'll get back to this actually. Um, so I can show you easily how to make duplicate pages on that. All right. So let's go back to the site. And we'll go to edit. All right. I haven't published yet, so it hasn't been public. And uh, we haven't launched the site officially, so I'll show you how to do that when it comes time to do that. But for now, we'll just hit the edit button. <clears throat> and we'll move this over here. And this stuff over here um, we'll take care of. And if you remember before, we went down this list of settings. That was in the first video. That was part of the first video. Now this time we are going to go over um, web parts, as I keep saying, I know. So as Abigail explained, you hit these pluses and you can apply different layouts. Um, so I'm just going to start with a simple one column because we can change that and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. And our first web part is going to be text. 
So I'm just going to simply grab from, from my website. I'm probably going to change all this stuff. Um, this is all for example purposes. This is going to be part of our, both our homeworks uh, to straighten up the pages that we create. But uh, we're just going to put the different elements in and uh, show you how to do that. Okay, and then I've got um, Grammarly. So let me show you that. If you're not aware what Grammarly is, you can either get it for free, uh, you get a free version, or you can sign up for the premium. So I'm going to get Grammarly. It basically fixes your grammar, fixes your spelling, and um, it's a great tool to have, especially me, because I suck at both. <laughs> So we'll add it. So we'll add it here. And we'll add again. So through these videos, I'll show you um, I'll show you different stuff that's not necessarily in the descriptions or anything. Um, just as I need them, I'll show you them because I'm sure some of these will be helpful for some people. All right, and then you can drag these down like in alphabetical order if you want. So CGP, is that alphabetical order? Sure is. All right. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to do this. So HTML code, I absolutely uh, didn't mean to hit that. Okay, so there we go. All right. And then Grammarly, just um, as long as it's, uh, ooh, what's that right there? As long as it's supported, it will hook up. Microsoft, it definitely hook, hooks up to, it will hook up to a lot of programs on your computer and utilize it. So it's not just for this, it's for a lot of things. So we can go through and that it does see stuff like that. Crap like this. I didn't do that. It's weird. Okay. So basically, fix this right here. I think that's it. Jeez. Why do I format it so weird? Oh. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I'm not even close. All right. So at the top, so let's say we're going to grab this, maybe make this a little bigger. Now, as far as SEO, so as SEO is search engine optimization. Um, if you're going to put this out on the web where people can find it, um, your H tags are always important. Your H1 tag, which I'll show you. H1, H2, H3. Those are important for search engine optimization. Um, Google likes those. So I might make the first paragraph a little bigger than the rest of them. And I'll just do the rest of them. And then you can make um, these as big as you want them. And obviously you've got different sizes. You can go crazy if you want. <laughs> I don't know. If you, hey, some people might want it that way. Some people might not. Okay, I'll go back to 18 here. All right. And then you can bold, obviously, bold on or just uh, like having any kind of um, Microsoft software, word processing, any or anything really, right? You can do it on a lot of things. You can italicize underlying basic shit that you can do in most programs. So I'll get rid of that. You can center. And then you can add a picture. So there's a couple ways to do this, and I'm going to show you this next. I mean, you can uniform it like, say, um, like an article. There's really a couple ways to do that, and I'll show you both ways. Um, I'll show you, but I'll go both ways. Um, the first time, uh, the first thing you can do is, um, uniform it from here. It's just grabbing a, um, an image. Let me, let me kind of clue you in on something before we do that. So let's go into, um, our contents. Let me just show you something here. All right. So all our images, uh, go into, uh, by default, go into site assets. Do they all have to go there? No. I just do what um, SharePoint does as uniform, just because it keeps everything nice and dandy. Now, as you can see where these site assets, site pages, there is nothing there. That is going to change momentarily. I also want to bring up before I do this, um, as far as Grammarly that I mentioned, um, there is an extension 
for your Chrome browser for Grammarly. So if you have the extension on your browser, it will help you um, with your spelling and your grammar and on most applications <clears throat> through that browser. And also I mentioned uh, SEO for Google. Can you put your SharePoint website on Google for um, search engine optimization? Can people find you on Google? And that's absolutely correct. We can absolutely do that. And once we go live, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to go about and do that. Okay, so this is what I like to do for my images. So let's just put in this for, for giggles. Let me start over here. All right, let's do it this way for giggles, and I'll show you how the whole process happens here. So I'm going to go to upload. Uh, I'll grab my, uh, my poster here. Okay, and then I'll add an image. And then once that's on there, you can put it wherever you want, just like a, you know, a online news article. And then you can just go here and put a link on your image if you need to, if you want to link to another page or someplace else. And if you don't, this is just what's going to happen. And let's say, so either you put a link to another website and it goes there or someone will click on there. If there's no link, it just automatically goes there. I'm not sure if you can put, um, it's interesting. Glad you came up with that uh, question. <laughs> uh, let me check something real quick here. So I'm not sure if you can put um, HTTPS. Um, let's see how that works if we don't want it to come up. I'm not sure if that will work or not. And depending on what happens here, no, okay. Normally, if you do that on a Word a WordPress site, it just won't link to any place. So this won't, well, if you didn't want the image to pop up, but it uh, doesn't look like that's going to happen in this case. We can try one other thing. We can just go here, go to the pencil again. I want to go here. I want to go to the pencil. And now I'm all being silly. All right. Let's see if we can just put this in. Let's see how that works. I think that's going to make. Um, I don't think that's going to make a, a hill of beans a difference. Yeah, that's not going to do the desired results. Okay, it just doesn't work in this particular um, this particular instance, which is fine. All right, so we'll just go into edit. I'll just get that out of there. Come on now, pencil. I don't know why this would be a pain in the balls. All right, it's out of there anyways. Then you can just um, shrink this up if you want. Add a caption. Uh, can put Jum's poster. And we can save draft. And there's your article. So if we go back to this, you see how this folder was made now? making comics that wasn't there before because we added an element to that page, an asset to that page. I don't necessarily want this called making comic studios like that. I'd rather call it a homepage. You can just go these three dashes here and rename it. Go to homepage. You put gems, homepage, whatever. Okay, rename. It's not going to change anything. It's going to automatically change um, where, the, where the image is in the back end. I also want to show you something else. Um, if you go here, it's going to add this um, formatting here, these extra characters, the 16157845934593. I don't care if it does that necessarily. Um, you can just drag the image over, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. And um, then you won't have that, that naming convention there. So... I really want all of my gems in a gems folder. I want them all together. So I can either create a new gems folder right here, or I can just do this and go to title. Oops, I gotta, oop, yep. Go to title, go to gems. Oops, let me get this out of here, edit. 
because that's not there anymore because I deleted it. So let me go here, let me go upload, and let me go this. Okay. And then we can save as draft. So if we go back to our site assets, and then our site pages, see it made a folder for me for gems. I want to call it gems, I'm going to leave it gems. And you see it's got that naming convention again. So if you don't want that naming convention, just do this. So we'll shrink our browser here. And here's my two images. I'm just going to bring these over. Once this gets the hell out of the way. So you don't have that 2-5 goofy shit on there. So I'm just going to delete this. All right. Go back to site pages. I'm going to go to home page. I'm going to delete this. And although this is appearing on my home page, this image is appearing on my home page. I don't want it there. I want all my images in my gems folder. And if I need to draw from it, that's what I'll do. So if we go edit. And then I had to check to see if my audio was recording because um, Last time I did it, I, didn't, I had it on mute, so I had to redo a whole section. It kind of pissed me off. Um, so we'll get out of here, and we'll just do this again. I just want to show you the different um, the different ways you can do things. That's all. Seems like I'm doing the same. Oop, don't do it that way. It's already there. Uh, instead of upload, go to site. Go to site assets. Go to site pages. All right, go to gems, and there's my poster. All right, and I'd rather open it from there and make that change. All right, and then add your caption, gems, if you want. You don't have to add it. If you don't add a, a caption, it just doesn't show up. Okay, now at work, I don't do it this way. Um, I, I do it in two different sections, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. <clears throat> so excuse me. But I'll show you, I want to show you something else first, actually. So if you hit on this right here, you're going to see this pop up. Now you can change these to two, three, you know, whatever's available for you. You can change the color if you want. I'll put like a light, really light green. I'm going to change these up anyways. I'll show you how to do that. We kind of went over it last, last video. Uh, I don't really want a green motif. I think I want more red. But uh, I'll change that in a bit. So if you click on that, this will come up. So once this is up, if you click in here, this will come up. So it's got different um, formatting that you can do. That's kind of ugly. <laughs> but um, can take it back to black. Uh, you can highlight. Right. You can center. You can indent. You can do bullet points numbers and then as always uh, there's always a, like an undo button that you can do you can undo the do you can do the undo <laughs> not sure i'm not sure if you do the undo or you undo the do but anyways you can get rid of any mistakes that you think you made but once you save it once you save as draft you can't do that anymore so make sure um we'll just put it back to white no color Okay, hyperlink. Let's do hyperlink. Pretty simple. Grab a piece of text and grab on your hyperlink and just put in your. I don't know. Um, imediahelper.com. And open a different link. My rule is it's an internal link. If it belongs in the pages, then um, don't open it in a new tab. If it goes to an exterior website, exterior page, then I always open a new tab. It's just my personal rule. I mean, it's not written in stone. It's nothing you have to do. Do whatever that, um, do whatever functionality that you, you think is best. Okay, so if we save draft, I should open a new, a new page. There we go, thinking, okay. Now, what if you want to do a uh, email address? So we'll get back to edit, and we'll put in um, 
contact at <clears throat> my media helper. Well, studios, it doesn't really matter. It's just for examples. Uh, you can either do the address or you can do email us, right? Onto this, and then if you go back to the way I did it there, uh, I just click on this, and then I just click in here. And there you go, and you can do the hyperlink here. You don't have to do it from there. Oops, you want to do mail to mail to. There you go. All right, and I don't know if it matters if you open a, a new tab or not. I always do it. Just um, um, you can do it here. You don't have to do the hyperlink over here. There's a hyperlink right there. You just put in mail to. It's by habit that I do that all the time. And you can highlight them if you want. Uh, Make them stand out a little more if you want. Okay, so we'll save draft again. And then, um, yeah, it defaults to, to Outlook mail. I don't know if you can default it to another client or not. I don't have that answer. I don't know, I'll have to look that up. I just can't, I don't have that answer right this minute. All right. But as I showed you in the um, in the first video, uh, the reason you do get a domain like makingcomicstudios.com is so you can have um, custom email addresses like contact at makingcomicstudios.com. That's why you do that. And uh, I explained all that in my previous video, so I'm not going to go over that all over again. So let's get back into edits. I don't necessarily like how this is. I don't like it all in one as one element. I don't like it all in one place. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I go here, I'm going to just split this up in two. Uh, I'm going to get this out of here. Delete this. Just kind of clean this up a little bit. And I'll leave all that crap. And put this back. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. All right. So I'm going to put the uh, image back here. So go site, site assets. So it's in the gems folder, right? So I'm going to grab this. All right. So this just makes things a little easier for me if I want to change stuff around. So I'm going to save draft. I mean, it almost looks the same, right? But in this case, I can just drag stuff around easier. This is a personal choice. So I just grab on this what looks like a cross with arrows on each side. I'm just going to move this over. There's a different element there. And I'm going to move this over here. All right. Now, something else you can do. If you go up here to add new section. Oops. Let me get my head out of the way there. If you add new section, you can do a uh, sidebar. So we can just put in a side or something like that, for example. And then if you go this little ditty here, then you can just do that and save draft, have a sidebar if you want. All right. Just remember, you're going to have this white space right here. And I'm going to show you how that works too in just a moment, because I'm going to show you how to expand the footer if you want to make it bigger. Notice you're going to have that white space right there too. All right, just keep that in mind and that'll be more clear in just a second. And you can do, um, you can do full width right here, or is it already full width right here? Full width section. I think it means it's already full width. Let's get this out of here. All right, and let's do this and see what that looks like. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit the plus, not the other thing there. Full width. All right, so you can do a full width section there if you want. And then I believe you can do your 
sidebar. I might not be correct on this. Okay. I don't think you can do a full width and a sidebar. It's one or the other. Okay. All right. Well, we'll get this out of here. Uh, I want to put the sidebar back because I want to show you. I'm going to put this back. Testing. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. Yeah. So if you want to do a, a footer down here, this is what I do for a bigger footer. It's kind of a fake out. And I mean, I don't know. I call it a fake out, I guess. So I'm going to do a new a new um, layout here. I'm just going to do, we'll do three. Let's do a three column one. And then if you ever want to duplicate uh, an element or a section of web part, just go to this duplicate um, page icon right there on the side. And then you can just drag it down. So I'll drag it right there. And do the same with this. And I'll just drag it down here. And then, um, oh, no, that's way too long. So I'm going to grab some of this and cut it. Or actually, no, you don't even have to do that. You can uh, make a duplicate copy. Drag that over here. So we'll get rid of some of this text. All right. And then it's text on this. And we can just kind of even it out as we go. I'll just leave it the way it is for now. Just give you an idea. Yeah, we can get rid of this. Pretend that's not there. All right. And then I want to change this color. All right. And let's save draft. So as you can see, because we have a sidebar, you're going to have, again, as I pointed out, these two white um, ends here. And it doesn't look good if you're going to make it into a footer. So we'll just go back to edit. And you just can't have it here on this particular page. And I don't necessarily like a sidebar of the front page anyways. And then I'll save draft. And then you've got your big footer. You can make it as big or as little as you want. And it matches up with this. All right. So that's all there. And we will get into different elements. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, that's everything I wanted to show you on those two things. So yeah. Let's continue. All right, and to wrap up this video, we're just gonna go over some other web parts. Uh, I try not to make these too longer than an hour for um, streaming reasons. So let's um, let's just go here and add another column. And we'll go over some of this stuff right here. Divider's pretty simple. I mean, it sounds exactly what it is. And then you can kind of see the Very faint there, but if we'll add the weight to it. Now, if we just, we can drag this wherever we want the divider to go. Oops. Oh my God, it's going crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Mm -hmm. Go there. I, try, I don't use dividers too much. Um, they're there. I just want you to be aware of them. Uh, if you know HTML or HR, <clears throat> it's just like having an HR tag. All right. So we'll go into, we'll add a different one, different column. All right, so lists we'll get to, my feed will get to, buttons are pretty self-explanatory. Just do that. And then you just put in your link. This is a button on, because I'm five. <laughs> <laughs> and you can obviously, do that. If you don't want them in such a big section, just go here. Let me, just um, here, let me put in. Have it there. You can see it's highlighted there. And then you can just go over here and you know, divide it by sections. But that is a butt on. All right, let's see what else we got. Oops, sorry about that. Call to action, kind of the same thing. Um, I 
I'll have to get you sizes next time. Um, as far as sizes are concerned, you know what? Let's just do an asset that's already there. We're going to do that in just a second. We might as well just look it up. All right, and then button label is gem, uh, gems. I guess I don't know. I really don't know. Comic book, and and you can have button link. I don't know. We'll just put HT. Put the same same thing I always put. Uh, MediaHelper.com. Just as an example. Okay, and obviously you can change that around too. Okay. And then you can save draft. And there you go. Here's your call to action button. And let's do this real quick. SharePoint, we can add that to our um, list of assets. SharePoint image sizes. Size and scaling SharePoint modern pages. This is what we want. Okay, aspect ratio. This is perfect. I'll put this down in the description. This is perfecto. So I'm going to go here and I am going to go to SharePoint. And just like we did before, I'm going to edit this and then I'm going to add image sizes. Image sizes. Image sizes. Do I want to put SharePoint image sizes? Yeah, I think I do. Image sizes. All right, I'll just move that down in alphabetical order because that's the way I roll, baby. And then we're done. There's one other thing that I was showing you. Oh, for um, look, SharePoint look. I showed you this in the um, Showed you this in the first lesson, so let's just re revisit it, just to give you ideas um, as to what you can do with SharePoint. And pop that right in here. Use this featured image thing. I think it will help you a lot. Okay. All right, and we'll put that down. Actually, I'm going to edit this and put that image size. Sorry, guys, I'm taking time to do this, but uh, hopefully this will help you out, maybe. Guys and gals. All right, so we're done. Yeah, so you, get, so you got a hunt, bunch of helpful tools right there for you that you can just keep an ongoing list. Um, and it's all in one place, babies. My gift to you. All right. So I won't worry about uh, doing the correct image at this this particular video. We'll, we'll get them going correctly um, for next one. I just want to go through some more elements, um, some more web parts, I should say. Now, Hero is just this up here. Now, we're going to address this um, fairly soon. We can address it. Um, I'm going to address it next video, actually. So we're going to do this next video. And so Hero is, here. let's just do this. Let's do a new section. Let's do hero. And do one. And it's got different uh, formatting for you. You can do like put in news stories, you know, like a online magazine, something to that effect. And just play around with that. We'll get more into it as we go. I just want you to be aware that's it available. And yeah, that's you can really go crazy and go to town on that. Okay, Let me just do that. All right, let's see what else we got here that I can show you. Oops. Okay, image we did, image gallery. So I'm going to add a couple more images to my SharePoint. So as always, if I want to get to my documents, I go into the main, the page that I want to get the documents to go to contents and I want to stick with gems. So I'm going to do site assets, pages, gems, and, 
I downloaded a couple of sketches of the girls. So we got Opal, we got Diamond, we got Opal, I'm gonna get one more. Diamond, we got Opal, we got Sapphire. Uh -huh. The girls, just the girls. All right, then I'll get her in there. Oops, she's way up there. And again, if you just see the list, all you got to do is uh, here's compact list, obviously, and then tiles. This is what I use a lot, especially for my images and stuff, just to see what they are. Okay, let's go back to gallery. Let's add images. Let's go to site. Let's go to site assets. Okay, gems. So I'm going to grab them all. Just... All right. And then obviously you can play around with them a little bit. That's just if you want to grab from certain areas, but that's okay. We'll just grab from here. I'll just keep them in as a brick form. Switch to grid layout to reorder images. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So we'll just save that. And let's go to edit. Let's make another section, babies. Another column, I mean. <clears throat> Excuse me. So links are just your basic links. So you can put in um, your HTTP, S. www.mymediahelp.com Fat finger a little bit. It should pull up, um, if it can, draw from the image. Maybe it can't draw an image from an image from here. Uh, now you can also do quick links, which I mostly use at work. So let me show you quick links. Okay. So these are about, I usually do 50 by 50. So I'll show you exactly what I do. Um, so if you did this over here, just go to Photopea. This is kind of like a side note, just a just a wrap up for this this video, and then we'll get into the other elements, uh, the other web parts in part three. And so I'm going to do a new file, and I do fifty by fifty pixels. I always do seventy D DPI, seventy two. I mean, I'm sorry, and I normally just do transparent. All right, so I'm going to go and find um, Photopea logo. Pia logo. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Dumbass. Photopea logo. Find one of these logos. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'll grab onto this one, I guess. This is just for example, anyways. So I'll just save to my desktop. All right. And then I'll go back to Photopea. And then I'll just drag this over. Okay. And actually, I probably can just do... I didn't even need to... Um, so this should come out, these parts should come out here. I mean, this isn't how to do Photopea, but um, just to give you a general idea. 
Again, I have other tutorials on that, so seek them out if you want to learn how to use Photopea. And if I get enough enough people say, hey, teach me this, then um, in any type of common area, then I will go ahead and do that. What the heck am I doing? Oh yeah, stroke. I want to do inside stroke. I want to do black. Okay. And I usually just do one because they're so thin, 50 by 50, so thin. Uh, you know, what happened to my stroke? They say don't have a stroke, but um, I definitely did not have one inside. I just want it as one normal two. Should I do two? Yeah, I'll do two. Okay. So then you can close these up a little bit. Go back to my image, image size, 50 by 50, 75. Okay, okay. you can make it bigger or smaller if you want. Uh, this is in vector, so you'll lose, you'll lose quality uh, if you make it bigger because we started small. And then I'm gonna export as PNGs, what I use mostly. I'm gonna save. And then it will come over here to my saved folder. I'm just gonna, it's, this isn't gonna be on screen, but you know, I'll move this over here. I don't like how Windows 11 changed this stuff. It's very annoying. Cause it used to be, you could just rename it, but now you have to hit more options. I don't like it at all. Photopea icon. Okay, change the name, and then I am not going to put it in any type of folder. Yeah, yeah, I changed my mind. So I'm going to go to Site Assets. I'm going to go to Home Page. I'm going to drag that over. Okay, and then I'll go back. All right. So you can add a link. Um, so we're going to add Photopea on here. Um, so I just from link, I'm going to custom put it in. All right, I'm going to insert that bad boy. All right, now you can use the auto select. It's pretty um, self-explanatory. Auto select, you can select a custom image. Or you can do an icon. If you go into an icon, you can come here and say like you have, uh, you want to do like a SharePoint icon. You can just put in SharePoint and it'll give you different icons. Select and it'll change the icon for you, but we're going to do custom. And I'm going to go sites, site assets, site pages, home page, the artist brothers. Okay. And then you can do alternate text. Uh, yeah, I might do this here. Cut this here. And here. Okay. Then you can go in and change anything, any elements that you need. If you come over here, you get different options here. Okay. And if you go, yeah, you can raise up, you can make these bigger. So just play around with these options, they're fun. Uh, buttons are pretty cool. So look what you can do with buttons. You can do a fill in color. So if you change the color of, um, and you can do one or two lines. So if you need it smaller or bigger. All right, and then if you change over here, color, it will change with, with the color that you decide to go with. All right. And let's go over, let's throw in some else. All right, spacer is just what spacer is. It's just to put a space <laughs> in between your columns if you need it or not. Um, I 
don't ever use it. I don't want space in my on my websites, uh, but sometimes you might need it, so it's there, just so you know it's there. Okay, and Stream we're going to go over next time, actually. We're going to upload a couple videos from Stream. Let me show you. To Stream, so you should have that as part of your package deal. It comes, I believe it comes with all the packages through Microsoft. So here's Stream. So we're going to add another element, another program into the mix. It's very easy. And um, yeah, we're going to set up a Stream channel next time to incorporate into our SharePoint. And then text and YouTube is just a link to So if you have a YouTube link, it's pretty simple. You just put the link in there. All right. And the document library, file viewer, high content lists. These are all things that we have to build. Page properties I never use. I, it's kind of pointless to me. Just kind of put in what your page property is. Um, I don't know if it's going to load. Try it out. It's, it's kind of pointless. But people do use it. And I'll let that load. And that should be it, I do believe. Lovers, for lighter. All the stuff we're going to go over, we have to build that stuff. These feeds, um, you can put in your Twitter feed. Countdown clock, these are kind of silly. Right? You can put in any clock you want. There's a weather thing too. What time is it now? It's four o'clock. Uh, what time do I have to work? <laughs> um, is it Monday? What the hell day is it? 24th to work at 5 a.m. So I got to work in, uh, I got to get going in 57 minutes. <laughs> it's my countdown. It's my countdown where uh, the time I have to finish this video and get the fuck out of the house. Okay. All right. Let's, um, then you can do, you can do some silly stuff. Where is it? You can do the temperature. There's the weather. Right. Uh, I'll put in my zip code. <clears throat> Canada, New York. Right. So it's four degrees here. Yippee yip. <sighs> you can do maps. Just want to make sure you know these are all available to you. Forms we'll have to go over later. Those those are more involved. World clock. So again, one four four two four. This is where I live. All right, so four oh three. So if you want to do this, and then you can just grab, put this element here, then put this element up here, and then save draft. I'm just going to have it like that if you want. Have your countdown in the middle <clears throat> if you want it. Excuse me. I apologize. All right, Gales and guys. So some other stuff you can play with. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to get in. This is about as in-depth I'm going to get with this stuff right here. As far as time and countdown clocks and stuff like that. It's... I just want you to know they're available. They're not hard to use. We just use them. So it's not that big thing. And I just want to make sure we got to everything I wanted to get to. Okay, Kindle Instant Preview. And I'll show you that because I do have a Kindle book out there, Power Apps. Okay, all this other stuff is going to be a little more involved. So I got through pretty the simple stuff. And next video, we'll get into some more complicated stuff. Um, I mentioned homework. So between the images and the text that you have for your particular website, do the best you can and kind of build it up a little bit using the elements that I showed you in this video. And then we'll add to it because that's how you learn, right? You start small and you just build on your knowledge. And that's what that's all about. All right, gals and guys, I guess I should go bathe and uh, get out of here. I appreciate you as always. If you could please um, subscribe. Big, big time subscribe. Thank you for everyone. Um, this week has been a lot, a lot of subscribers for a small channel of, like I am. 11 is a lot to me. <laughs> I know it's not a lot to a lot of people. To me, it's a hell of a lot. So thank you for that. Um, 
please like, please share, hit that bell below for updates. And part three will be in about a week, a couple weeks um, as I get through it. And uh, I will see you then. Okay. And we'll have some more SharePoint fun together. All right, gals and guys, I appreciate you as always. Okay. Peace. Bye.